What's up, Fox Powders? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. If you're returning, hello! It's so nice to see you all again. You guys look great. Yes, you person who just realized that it's time for some new socks for two reasons. One reason is because of the change in season, and the other is because of the hole you've worn into the heel of your sock has made you very aware of that change in season. You look great. All right, I hope everyone's having a wonderful day. I'm excited to bring to you an r slash Lulano dedicated video. I have been excited to do this for the past couple of days. I've just been buried under schoolwork and uh, this sounds way more fun. I got home from work today and I did a little bit of studying for I have a quiz tomorrow and a lab due, but I'm taking a little break and in that little break, I decided to do this video because this is fun. I, I mean, yes, it is work, <laughs> but I, trust me, I get a lot out of this for sure. So if you wanna watch some r slash Lulano <laughs> terrible patterns, then go ahead and stay tuned. Iris tunic fit, LulaRobe something something. Okay, so. <laughs> Um, so what this is showing, uh, is, well, essentially a chart with all the different sizes, but <laughs> they all look the same. <laughs> like the extra small looks the same as the classic XL. <laughs> it's... Oh my goodness. You guys, see, this is what I'm talking about. When I say that LuLaRoe just kind of goes crazy with the sizes, this is what I mean. They don't actually, like the, well, they put labels, like they put sizes on it, but the sizes don't mean anything, <laughs> clearly. <laughs> I mean, I guess the only thing I could tell, if we could really, if I could tell for sure something that definitely looks smaller on the top row, the sleeves. I could definitely see that the sleeves look a lot tighter and sometimes shorter on the top row. Uh, other than that, <laughs> the body of the shirt just looks gigantic regardless. It's just a big tunic top. It doesn't matter. And it doesn't matter what the pattern is. The shirt just looks equally terrible every time. And I also appreciate how she wears the same pair of leggings that have like a ridiculous pattern on them as well because, you know, at this point clashing patterns doesn't matter. So each time she changes a shirt, it's like a whole new outfit. <laughs> $61 for a faded donut shirt and lime green leggings. <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't those donuts look terrible too? They're they're super faded and like odd icing colors. I mean, I'm all for fun colored foods, I guess, but I don't know. I guess the, the donut with the black icing <laughs> looks a little odd. <laughs> it just looks like they were reaching, right? Like they're like, um, we only have these leftover reject colors to use for the donuts. Is that okay? And they're like, of course it's okay. Why are you asking? Put it on. <laughs> uh, and then just a pair of lime green leggings, just straight up lime green leggings, just going for it, going for that third grade chic. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, any of you out there who have third graders or are teachers of third graders, I, 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 forgive me, I'm sure that uh, the children you know are much more stylish <laughs> than, than this, but uh, I don't know, I just can't get over how faded those donuts are. Like, I know they don't try, but like they really didn't try. <laughs> Lar, she blows! Oh my god. The circus tent shirt, you guys. Okay, so I really think LuLaRoe is trying to make a whole new uh, style of clothing, right? We've had A-Line, we've had Empire Waist, we've had, I don't know any other styles, <laughs> guys, I don't know clothes. But just to add to the, add to the shapes of clothing we have, we're going to add to it the circus tent. Thank you, LuLaRoe, for giving us this beautiful shape, flattering on all sizes. Doesn't matter what you look like underneath, it's gonna look the same on you. It's <laughs> just a big old triangle. I mean, who doesn't want to look like an equilateral triangle? I mean, truly, <laughs> I, I myself love that look. It's so flattering. I just, uh, I love looking like a bell everywhere I go. <laughs> just at any moment, I'm gonna just start leaning and ding, ding, ding. <laughs> I don't know why, but this photo looks a little blurry, so I apologize. Um, the caption above this one said something about the Wizard of Oz, and like, I'm not seeing it. <laughs> I see what look like people walking in a group, maybe trick-or-treating, because I see someone's holding like a, a trick-or-treat 
bucket, the jack-o'-lantern candy bucket, and it looks like they might be dressed like a cowboy, and then the person next to them is in some sort of cape hood thing, and then there's maybe some someone with a pumpkin on their head next to them, like a child. I don't know. It's a very hard to t hard, it's very hard to tell on the graphic. It's not a good graphic, first of all, and then of course they just slap it on at weird angles. Like if you were to put on those leggings, the the graphic that we're seeing on the bottom nearest the twenty five dollars on the page uh, uh, or on the screen. That would be, if you put that on, the, the people will be pointing downwards. Their heads are up, like they're upside down. <laughs> it's like, and then the waistline, there's just like part of a human coming out of the waistband. <laughs> and then the colors, I think that they just looked at whatever colors were used on the graphic and just kind of went with it. <laughs> they're just like, uh, we got like a, a blue, we have like a faded orange, we have a brighter orange, there was a yellow, uh, yeah, just slap it on there. In stripes, sure, in stripes, sounds good. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I really want to know what this looks like on. I want to know where that graphic appears on, on the rest of the legs. Like, is it just like popping out of weird spots? I'm just so confused by this. It, I know that they often do really bizarre prints, and I know that this is not the first weird print that we've seen by any means, but like really, I am so confused. What was the goal here? You <laughs> Keeping all S outfits for the time being, extra small live and OS leggings, so freaking good, y'all. I literally cannot handle it. Literally the bomb dot com. Why did she use literally twice? <laughs> she literally used it twice. <laughs> uh, that is a horrid combo. <laughs> that is horrible. Um, I mean, okay, I'm all here for a good skull pattern here and there, but I really hate that one. <laughs> I'm sorry. If you like it, that's cool. I'm, I'm sorry, but I, I just... The, the rainbow skull thing is just, it's not my thing. <laughs> if it's your thing, that's cool. <laughs> Maybe when these leggings show up at Goodwill for $3, you can buy them. And that's, that's a good deal. I think they're worth $3. But pairing those pants <laughs> with that shirt, I mean... <laughs> I know that the that it that's that that's the whole point of these of these Lularoe combos is the pattern combos aren't supposed to match. That's why they match because they nothing matches and that's the matching part. Get it? <laughs> so they're like, okay, a black background with rainbow skulls. Obviously, we should do some pink chevron stripes. Okay, if those aren't chevron stripes, don't come for me. <laughs> kind of looks like it. I don't know. I'm not even sure what I'm saying. Um, <laughs> no, but that looks so garbage. and <laughs> I really hate it. And then the pink that's on the shirt, I mean, just the way that they kind of like splash the color in, uh, in between, you know, on the actual stripes, it just makes it look really sloppy. And then you can already tell, as usual, it's one of those LuLaRoe shirts that just doesn't fit for anything. And then they say extra small live. I'm assuming that must be the shirt. We already know that the sizes mean nothing. Extra small is the same as extra large. So just as, as long as you're aware of that, then that's fine. <laughs> I have to move on to the next one. This is awful looking. You know, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below. I want to hear what you guys have to say. Let me know in the comments below. What do you think? When you see this outfit, what do you think is the general age of the person that would be wearing this outfit? Go ahead below. Let me know below. I'm really curious to see. Uh, because I think it looks like something a small child would wear. It really does. You want me, my my 33-year-old grown self to wear that <laughs> maybe to bed i guess <laughs> but like out in the world no <laughs> no i can't do that i mean i could but i'm not gonna <laughs> this it looks like kid clothes like really kid clothes am i wrong i don't know it says tall and curvy uh they have it in the sizes tall and curvy so it's obviously not a child pants they're they're for a grown-up. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Let me know. Maybe I'm out of bounds. Maybe you guys are like, no, totally. This is 
definitely the outfit of a 45 year old adult woman. I don't know. Maybe it is. Let me know below. I'm curious. <laughs> Look at the pattern on the front of you can't tell. They didn't. Apparently the, pa the front panel is like a separate pattern from the rest of the shirt. But, um... <laughs> Uh, whoever was making it uh, didn't make the front panel large enough, so <laughs> the back panel of the shirt of the different pattern actually comes around the side, <laughs> and it looks awful. Oh, and also how see-through is that? You can see the print straight through it. My word. <laughs> it looks so terrible. And then it's also like, again, four polka dots on the whole thing. Ah, uh, this kills me. This is so funny. Oh, <laughs> uh, sorry. I can't stop laughing. I just, <laughs> the, the, the craftsmanship fail on this one is just outstanding. <laughs> just outstanding. Uh, like I know every time I, I'm always saying like, things like, uh, I know I shouldn't be surprised by now, or I know this is kind of the thing. This is like what they do. This is what Luro does. But every time I see it, it still hits me right in the funny bone. Like this doesn't get old. <laughs> okay. I'm moving on. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> it's another one of those terrible eye-crossing patterns, like the ones where you look at it, and before you know it, your eyes are going two different directions, and then you have a headache, and then you need to take an ibuprofen, and then it's just like, oh, man, <laughs> what a day. But, no. <laughs> Uh, those are awful. It's absolutely terrible. Um, there's like, if you squint your eyes, okay, kind of lean back a little and sort of squint at it. It almost kind of looks like scales, like almost, which would, I mean, you know, it's fine, I guess, if, if, you, if you're into that. But then it's like you open your eyes, though, and you're like, wait a minute. And it's like the pattern. I, ca I cannot tell because my eyes, I think I will go blind if I, if I look at this too hard. But I can't tell if the pattern is on the background and then the, like, diamond scales were a print put over the top or if each diamond scale has its own pattern in it and that's what they smoosh together like <laughs> I can't tell what's happening uh yeah I don't know definitely shouldn't be able to wear these in public you're gonna make someone sick they're gonna need to pass out Dramamine like it's gonna be a mess you know I feel kind of bad and I'll tell you why earlier I was uh very judgmental over that LuLaRoe outfit because I said it only had four polka dots well <laughs> My bad, because this outfit has seven. <laughs> seven whole polka dots. Granted, there could be some on the back. There might not be. There might be only one on the back. I don't know. <laughs> but on the front of the skirt, they have seven polka dots. And they have them spread out in a pattern in such a way to where the whole... Well, it'd be, it looks like my right, which if you were the mannequin, it would be the mannequin's left, where the tag is hanging down. There's a huge negative space there with no polka dot because, because they just kind of put them in like a stripe pattern. Like there's, there's like a row of polka dots going down the row of four, and then there's like a row of three right next to it. Um, <laughs> it's just incredible i mean <laughs> who would have thought months ago when i first found that picture of the leggings at like a goodwill and they were lularoe leggings and they had just a single red dot like right over the backside <laughs> and i thought that would have that was like some sort of anomaly i thought that was going to be the only time i saw some something like that because you know that kind of mistake they could only make once right well <laughs> no <laughs> um, <laughs> No, nope, the mistake is made again and again. Uh, why would you want a skirt covered in polka dots when you can just have a few uh, in a line? I mean, that's fine, right? Okay. <laughs> oh, run! Oh my god, run! It's coming for you. This photo is completely still, and yet I feel like it's coming at me. <laughs> Uh, I feel like it's gonna get me. Um, okay, first of all, uh, gigantic circus tent shape again. All right, and then they, and then they just were like, mm, 
you know, this one pattern, just putting one of them on the middle of the shirt, that's not enough. Just putting a few of them, <laughs> that's not enough. No, no, no. We need to layer this graphic on top of itself across the whole shirt. Yes, you heard me right. <laughs> Uh, I feel like in another world, in another time, in another way, in another manner, this could have been a really cool pair of curtains or something in a completely different uh, setup, <laughs> in a completely different application. Um, this is so gross. This is so awful. I was going to say something like this looks like something a grandma would wear, but then I think my grandma would have actually rolled in her grave. I think she would have been really upset at me for saying that. So I'm sorry, grandma. You are way more stylish than, the, than this. You would never have worn such a thing. Forgive me. <laughs> this really is. That, that is just so ugly. Oh, my eyes. Oh, my eyes. <laughs> Optical Illusions or Lulano Miscellaneous Poshmark Offerings. Oh my goodness, the one in the bottom right. Oh, the one that's like the green leggings with the, ooh, the red and blue squares. I can't even look at that one for too long because it actually is hurting my eyes. Like, I know I always say that. <laughs> I tend to exaggerate a little bit straight up. The one in the bottom right hurts. I feel like I'm going to need glasses when this is all over. <laughs> oh no, those are all so terrible. Those are all so busy. You you shouldn't wear any of those. <laughs> oh no. And I think we've all admitted we all do like a terrible pattern now and then, but you guys like, no. <laughs> oh, I have to go to the next one. I, I honestly can't keep this one open any longer. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay, so this one I want to give a little bit of background. All right, so the caption above says, this is the brand that resellers killed. That's because the person who uh, it took the photo, uh, I'm assuming sells for LuLaRoe, because they are implying that the people who took LuLaRoe and were not able to sell it at its full price because nobody's gonna buy a terribly cut shirt for $70, okay, no one. Uh, they're, they're saying that those those resellers who did that, who sold their products for a lower price to like Goodwill or a consignment store, that it's their fault that, that LuLaRoe is, is dying. That's why. That is terrible. What a, what a terrible thing to claim. Uh, do your research. That is so not true. And it's very easy to find sources that point you in the right direction and would tell you that you are completely wrong for that. <laughs> Not true at all. Uh, what destroyed the brand was the fact that the company ever be existed to begin with. <laughs> That's, mm. It was it was built to fail. That's uh, MLM companies. I mean, with the exception of a few, right, like Amway and uh, some of the other bigger ones that have really managed to stand the test of time, like lasting twenty plus years. Um, for the most part, MLMs are kind of built to burn out. They're not built to last, essentially, because well, for obvious reasons. Uh, people find out about them, they get mad, uh, bad business tactics can lead to uh, business failings, fast money goes fast, you know, it's just, <laughs> there's just a lot tied into it. But I just, I, the audacity of blaming, of blaming the humans who, who were duped into selling the product, blaming them for the downfall of the company, that's just really terrible. That's super low. Uh, again, I just, I, I would have to urge you to do your research. Again, it would be one quick Google search. It would take no time at all, no effort even. And then you would have your answers. It's incredible stuff. The hot dog shirt, you guys, it's the hot dog shirt. It's reappeared. It looks slightly different. It's like a slightly different variance, but it is the hot dog shirt. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's this is incredible i know i know it, it's ugly it's horrible i should not support lularoe and i don't i do not support lularoe but i'm just saying if somehow this hot dog shirt ever finds its way into my wheelhouse like i have to have it i don't even think i'll ever wear it to anything i just like need to have it i might frame it and put it on the wall i just feel like this hot dog shirt and i like we go way back, you know, like all the way back to the beginning of my channel, like my first LuLaRoe video. I think I found a hot, this hot dog shirt and was just awestruck by it. <laughs> like to this day, still am. <laughs> oh man, who would have thought, you know, me as a 33 year old woman, it would come to the point where I would have said out loud that I have officially bonded with a hot dog shirt. <laughs> Whatever, 2019, it's a fun year, you guys. <laughs> 
Custom dipped in mold spores. <laughs> Gross. Custom tie dye surely. Great fall colors sold as is. Wait, custom tie dyed? Who who tie dyed it? Custom tie dyed. Did you tie dye that? Whoever posted it. What on earth? <laughs> I know those aren't good colors. It straight up looks like mildew or like mold on bread. Does that not? <laughs> you guys, it's the invention of penicillin. It's right here. It's incredible. Great fall colors wear. <laughs> I don't think fall colors when I see that. <laughs> no. Moldy green. I, <laughs> uh, parchment paper yellow. <laughs> like, what are you doing? What are you doing? And you know, honestly, there's actually uh, part of the shirt, uh, the kind of, or the the Shirley, excuse me, <laughs> the middle of the Shirley. There's actually a part of the tie dye that kind of looks like a a bone cell. I just recently I had a quiz or I have a quiz tomorrow on it. I did the homework. I did the homework on it already, you guys. But uh, pretty sure that looks kind of like a bone cell. I'm learning. I'm so proud of myself. But I tie dye. I still I don't see the tie dye. So we have mold, mildew. We have bone cells. I don't see tie dye. I don't see fall colors. <laughs> I just want to know who tie dyed it. Did like the person reselling it? Did they do that? Because they should never do that again. That is not their strong suit. And uh, I'm not trying to say that like I would do it really well because again <laughs> I'm not gifted in the world of fashion. So I just wouldn't. <laughs> I just wouldn't do something like this, but I'm just saying whoever the person is who did this should do what I'm doing and just like leave this stuff to the professionals, you know? <laughs> it's time for everyone's favorite segment of the video. It's time for the wholesome moment of the day. Let's see who you guys sent over. First up, we have Fival, and this was sent over by Simon. Thank you so much, Simon. So Fival came with that name, by the way, came to live with Simon about six years ago, and they are his third owners. They're not sure of his exact age, but they think he is about 12 years old, which is pretty old for a Labrador. He came to them as they needed a calming influence for a crazy border collie. Wow, hashtag relatable for me over here. He is very sweet, loves hugs and belly rubs, but doesn't hear very well. <laughs> Thank you so much for sending that, Simon. Next up, we have this tiny little sweet kitten named Ethereal, and this was sent over by Ash. Thank you so much, Ash. Now, Ash's sister found Ethereal in a closed box by the dumpster in her neighborhood, and they've had her for almost a year now, and she's the most gentle, loving cat in the world. Thank you so much for saying that, Ash, and I can't believe that anybody would dump this little kitty on the side of the road, but or by the dumpster, but you know what? In the end, it worked out so beautifully because now you have this sweet little thing. And for the last picture, we have this very statuesque looking doggo, but I did not get a name in the email for the dog. Uh, I did get a name of the person, and the person who sent this is Mrs. D at last. So Mrs. D at last, if you are watching this video, please let us go ahead and know in the comments what the name of this adorable dog is. And if you're looking to get a new member of your family, I definitely recommend to Adopt Not Shop. Check out your local shelters, your local humane societies. Donate if you can, volunteer if you can, and don't forget to spay new to your pets. And if you want to see a photo of your pets here, then go and send it to my email, which is in my channel description. It's also theburrowingfox at gmail.com. Go ahead and send me an email, and you will see your pets here eventually. All right, Fox Trotters, that's going to do it for me today. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you liked that video, please hit that like button down below. If you have any good comments or suggestions, please leave that down below as well. I'd love to read what you have to say and in interacting with you all. If you have not already, that subscribe button and become a Fox Trotter. Come join the den. Den Mother would love to have you. And I'm going to link my Patreon here somewhere for free to check it out. And if not, no big deal. I'm just glad you came to spend some time with me. All right, folks, I hope that video brought some laughter to your day, wherever you are, whatever you're going through. It was really fun to do this video. <laughs> I know it's only been a couple days. Uh, like I said before my last video, I'm used to doing my videos more frequently, so it feels like I haven't been doing them in a while. So even though it's only been a couple days, it's like, oh my gosh, it's been ages. And then I go to the LuLaRoe subreddit and it is chock full of amazing stuff. So thank you so much, folks. I hope you enjoyed that video. And as always, until the next video, take care.